video requests for today how people self-delete themselves because they're struggling in a financial situation that they can't get out of now life itself is all a bunch of struggling whether it's financially whether it's physically mentally all of the above you could pretty much say it's just the thing is it doesn't always get better for everybody it doesn't you know people say it gets better but that's not always true now for some people it might don't get me wrong for some people it just might but not everybody and that's the thing people are too comfortable to say oh don't think like that man things get better and then you almost want to say to that person how is it going to get better and then i bet they can't even say anything back in return because the truth is they don't even know but what they do know is how to say get the fuck away you mosquito but what they do know to say is it'll get better but they won't know how because pretty much it's not going to happen unfortunately you know it's just people that aren't suffering or whatever you're suffering from it's easy for them to say think positive think of the bright side don't think that way or whatever because they're not suffering so it's easy for them they don't know what you're going through whatever you might be going through that's the thing we're not in the shoes of that poor person whatever shoes bad shoes that that person's in it's just sadly a never-ending battle here there's always problems after problems you tr finally sometimes you you finally end one problem just for another problem to come whatever problem might be it's just like for example owning a house the sink let's say leaks or whatever the hell or, or, or a busted pipe or whatever you fix that problem then something else goes wrong then the dishwasher let's just say goes bad or you know just is, what i'm trying to say, <laughs> basically trying to say out of all of this is there's always a problem after a problem and then when sometimes you can't even solve that one problem then other problems just come on top of that you're literally drowning in problems to the point where some people just had enough and said i didn't sign up for any of this damn shit i signed it up to have all these headaches fuck that i'm signing off and that's why people pretty much self-delete themselves i can't say i blame them and like i always say and i always will say i don't recommend it but at the same time i can't blame people that did choose to do that because it's just it's hard man life is just it's nothing but a headache every day waking up into this bullshit struggling just to get by whatever it might you know however you're trying you're trying to you're trying to survive you know you're trying to friggin' survive when really if you don't survive like meaning if you just die you don't gotta worry about the headaches you're literally by you surviving you're dealing with all these headaches constantly every day it sucks it's crazy then it's funny how they want to try to stop the suicide rate or whatever the hell. Well, I ain't going to stop that by making life harder. You know, I mean, there's just so many reasons why people commit suicide. You know, there's just so many reasons. I probably can't even say it all on, on this specific video. But a lot of people, I mean, it's just every day's a torment. Every day this person's got to wake up with back pain, let's just say. Every day this person's got to wake up with some kind of pain. Whether it's mental pain, depression, physically, whatever, financially. And it's just every day it's the same plot. It's the same annoying plot. This is where it goes back to sleep being a tease. Because when that person, if that person even gets the chance to go to sleep, goes to sleep. And it ends up waking back up into this. It's just a headache once again. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. There's a lot of reasons why people self-delete themselves and I can't say I blame people for doing that because it's just I feel like it's I feel like it's just too much. There's more bad news in life than good news. Now I'm not saying there's no good news, but what I am saying is I feel there's more bad news over good news. It's like nothing could just go our way. There's always something that's got to interfere with something. You got people that try to exercise, take care of themselves. Yet they still develop health problems. They're doing all the right things they're supposed to do to keep your body healthy. And yet your body still becomes a burden. Then it goes vice versa where there's people that don't even take care of themselves and they're fine. And then it makes you say to yourself, like, I'm doing all the right things and I'm still struggling. I'm still suffering. And it's just it's 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 uh, humiliating when you come to think about it. It's just it's 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 depressing. This is where I go, like, life is just, there's just so much negativity here. There's just so much negative things that can go wrong with us. We can all end up in a bad state. 
You know, it's like even me, anyone. And it sucks because not everyone can get the proper treatment because, oh, they don't have enough for this. So it's just that whatever they have ain't treatable. But I mean, it's just, they say doctors are heroes, but doctors are only heroes if you have the funds that you can afford that for them to save your life or do this operation or that or whatever. Because if you don't have the funds, you don't have insurance, money, whatever the hell, they ain't going to do shit for you. So how are they heroes? They're only heroes on one condition, money, you know? It's just, life is just one big rant that you could just keep ranting about. Like you could, I, see, that's one thing before I ever making YouTube videos, I used to always rant to myself in my head, like of just all the corruption, all the fucked up things that go on in this life. And I guess what sucked at the time was I had no way to release all that. It was all just in my head. And now, ever since I created YouTube and started making videos about this, I feel like it's like therapeutic, just ranting about it. Just, you know, I mean, it's not going to solve anything. I've said that, unfortunately, but it just does feel a little bit better to let all that toxic stuff out. You know, I mean, it's just it's the truth. I'm just expressing what truly life is. I'm not trying to sound depressed. I'm not trying to sound like a negative guy or anything. It's just life itself sadly is negative and it is getting darker as I speak. I do apologize for that. I'm going to see if I could uh, brighten up the thing a tad bit. I think that helped a little bit. I brightened up the screen a little bit. Hopefully that uh, looks like it's brighter to me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, bright for you guys. Hopefully it is. But it is It is getting darker. But um, yeah, and then people wonder why there's so many crazy things going on. I mean, life is like, I've said this, I, I always like to bring this up. Life is like GTA. People... It's like, I feel like, I, I feel like there's just nothing to do in life. It's just boring. It's the same boring routine. You know, you, you're bored at home, right? Like there's some people that stay home, they get bored, they want to do something, but what the hell do you do? You literally got to have money for every little footstep you take outdoors. Just to go to a park, some, you know, at a, uh, some kind of a park where there's water or it costs money. I mean, it's just, you literally have no freedom without money. You literally can't do anything out of the house without money, literally. Just driving around wastes money because you're wasting gas. I mean, electric cars, I mean, I don't know if that's a different story. I mean, well, using more electric to charge it up, I guess. But, <laughs> but I mean, no kidding aside, it's like life is just, it's, 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 this is what I mean. It's just depressing. It's stressful. There's literally nothing to do. I mean, there's a lot of things to do, but it all revolves around money and not everyone's financially stable to do that and then this is why people get jealous of one another because they see another person rich being able to do this or do that and then that person's not being able to do that because he or she doesn't have the, the money and then this is what causes all a bunch of crazy things people get so mad to maybe shoot start a mass shooting today i heard another mass shooting somewhere i didn't even i don't even know where i didn't listen to i, I don't i don't really listen to the news like that i just heard mass shooting but i didn't pay attention where it was but this is why it's going on every day people just losing it i can't say i blame them i mean i'm not saying let's it's okay to do that i'm not saying that but it's just it all it all adds up to why this is all going on because life is just so cruel and unfair man if life was treated equally like if we were all treated equally maybe just maybe and i'm not gonna say definite but just maybe life would be a lot better maybe that's the thing there's people richer than us. There's people poorer than us. I got a nicer car. You got a shitty, you know. And this is how it all adds up. Jealousy, jealous, boredom. All this stuff adds up to make people go crazy and then they start slashing, shooting, crimes, you name it, you know. And this is why it's going on. I mean, I mean, why it's common sense of why mass shootings more thing today, because look at life getting more expensive It's literally every little thing's money. I mean, it was always money, but now everything's just double the price, not triple the price. So now you're going to have the triple the crimes, triple the mass shootings. <laughs> you're always going to I mean, you always had crimes and shit, but now with everything being jacked up, now you're going to jack up crimes and mental health, you know, a mental health's going to jack up. Suicide rates are going to jack up. It's all just a pattern that leads to disaster. If, you know, that's pretty much 
a good way of saying that, you know. You want to go out, you want to hang out somewhere. For every little thing, you need money. You want to go out somewhere to eat, you need money. You want to go out to uh, movies just to see a stupid movie, money. To go bowling, I mean, just, just like, it's just, everything's all a money gimmick. It's like you just have no freedom. You can't even catch a fresh of breath air without having to pay, pay for something literally paying for something they say life is a gift and yet you can't even do anything unless you have money can't even drive and cruise around for free because that wastes gas oh now the car's getting low now i gotta fill it up again we're so bored we'll just go cruising around that's where i say life is just like a big boring gta there's just nothing to do nothing to do it gets boring this is why in grand theft auto people randomly hijack cars hijack planes helicopters you know things like that shoot other players this is literally what it's real life's becoming well real life i mean i'm not saying it, it, it was this way i'm sure all the time but it's just becoming more and more crazier it's becoming more and more grant that photo <laughs> more and more grant that photo but seriously you know after a while you just you're driving around well you're not really planning on going to a specific destination when you're playing grant that photo sometimes you're just driving around you know have the music on in the car in the, in the game because i remember you could play music and then you're just watching it you know go fast like <sighs> cause a mayhem crashing on street lights get running pedestrians and stuff like that you know you're just bored you don't know what else to do it's all it really is that game well, at least free roam you know but that's literally life life literally feels the exact same this is why people are doing these things <sighs> and i'm not saying it's okay to do it no but people are sick and it's just the system itself makes people sick the way life itself is what causes sicknesses <laughs> sicknesses causes mental illness causes all these problems health problems it's all from the way life is what we're doing is not fully healthy we gotta always constantly worry how we're gonna survive how we're gonna be able to afford for this afford for that afford for food afford for whatever you want to do a certain event oh you need money Every little thing. It's like you can't get out of your house and even go for a ride for free. It's like you're bored at home, but then you're bored out too because you don't know what to do. You just start driving around, nowhere to go. And then when you know there's a place you want to go, but it costs this. It's like you're just strapped. It's like you're just, you're like, you're like a, on a leash. You have no fucking freedom. You can't explore. You can't even travel without money. You got to go, to go on a plane. I mean, there's... It's, it's ridiculous, man. This life is a gift, and yet we're paying for every little thing out of our pockets. Every little thing. We're being sucked dry. We're literally being sucked like a desert. That's literally what I feel. Our pants are being sucked like a desert. So there's nothing left. Then we suffer even more. Oh, my God, bro. It's just... It's crazy. And now it's getting dark again. Shit. Let me see if I can make it a tad bit brighter, guys. My apologies. Felt like making a video outside though today. It's a nice night, nice and breezy a little. But uh yeah, I mean it's just it's truly sickening. And then when I like mention these type of things, people don't see it. It's like I don't know why why do I why do I have to feel so alone? Like I know, I know I'm not crazy. Like it's just why don't other people have this mindset? Why are people defending this shit? You know, it's just and making these videos i'm not ever encouraging people to give up in life whatever they're trying to do i'm not saying give up but i'm just basically trying to express how i truly feel about it all you know i mean if, and pretty much how it is unfortunately whether people want to accept it or don't i mean i just find it depressing you have no freedom you're bored at home you don't know what to do with yourself so sometimes people get in the car and go out but they still don't know where to go so they start cruising around wasting gas so it's like, no matter what, you're um, in a car, even if you don't go to any place to spend money, still you're driving around that waste is gas. Unless you ride a bike or whatever the hell, but you know, <laughs> it's just, I don't know anymore, bro. Like, I'm just fed up with this bullshit, you know, I'm just fed up every day being the same bullshit, if not worse, you know? just if you hit a plane in the background those people had to pay just to fly to wherever the hell their destination is you know i mean it's just crazy man unbelievable you have absolute zero freedom geese they could fly all the way to florida or wherever the hell with their wings we unfortunately can't fly but another thing are they paying to travel no 
they they go around all the world around the whole world they don't pay anything they just flap their big wings and fly <laughs> you know that's really it all to it us on the other hand we got to pay for this we got to pay for that pay for this life's a gift i'm paying you know i just can't get enough of that man i, I truly can't can't believe i'm actually paying for a gift it's supposed to be my gift my joy and i'm paying for it to the point where i don't see how this is joy this is night this is this is a curse curse and it's just never it's just a never-ending friggin battle man people try to solve one problem let's say they do and then another problem comes in between but whatever it might be whether it's your body like let's say you need to go for an operation on something whatever it might be all right you go for that operation you heal everything goes good with that one specific location now something else acts up for whatever it is i'm just saying as an example it's like we just can never get a break with anything there's always a headache after a headache after a headache financial wise mentally physically there's always something that just drags us down drags us down we try to i always say like we try to climb up this ladder we try to see the light on the top of the of the you know the manhole let's make believe we're in the manhole in the dark trying to climb out of that dark place and what ends up happening another problem develops you slip right back down into the manhole again all right now you solve that problem you're on your way back up almost to the top of the manhole you can almost reach the sewer lid whatever you want to call that <laughs> as soon as you're about to open it and crawl out oh another problem just developed oh, i just fell right back it's like it's just a never-ending headache that's all life offers us that's all life fucking offers us and then people have the nerve to say, oh, it get better, it gets better. No, it doesn't. It, I mean, it, it, some people it might, but it doesn't always fucking get better for everyone. That's why I'm sick of morons saying that shit. I wish it would get better for everyone. I wish. I wish it's true, but it's not. There's some people that are just so in such a bad way that, unfortunately, the only way to true peace is, unfortunately, ending their lives. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's something we should do, but... At the same time, could you blame people for going that route? You know, could you really, really blame people and you want to call people selfish for that reason? It's all our life. We should have every right to do what we want. I'm not saying let's kill ourselves, but what I am saying is it's our life. We should have every right to do what we want to do with our lives. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be a, a negative or bad influence type of person of saying that. It's just the truth, you know. I'm not saying let's all give up, man. Let's all just hang ourselves. No, I'm not saying that. But at the same time, people that unfortunately have done that and stuff, I can't say you blame them because life's just a never-ending battle, a never-ending headache. And it's just, there's only so much a person could take until they snap. You know, a person gets bullied, eventually that person might just one day go crazy. And I salute that person if he kicks the bully's ass in return because bullying's fucked up shit you're making fun of you're putting someone down beating someone else you wouldn't like it if it was you but who cares i'm not that person so i'm gonna do it to him or her or whatever i mean is this how i look at it guys there's only so much we can take and we all we're all human you know that's how i look at it we're all human our souls eventually are gonna break our spirits whatever you want to call it there's only just so much you can take until you just can't take it anymore and that's the thing life just never gives us a break I'm not saying everyone suffers, but, you know, there, there are people that are in a bad s setting and they do luckily get out of it and their lives do turn around better. That is true, but that's not for everybody, you know. Not everyone gets that lucky charm, sadly. And no lucky charm cereal, unfortunately, won't solve that problem either. But I do like, I do like lucky charm cereal, I must say. <laughs> but, I mean, no kidding aside, you know, like, that's the thing. People always want to flat out say it'll get better man don't think that way it's not always going to get better you might be right but you might be wrong and 99 percent of the time you're unfortunately wrong and that's the thing that irritates me people i understand people just try to want to want to comfort that person but really you're not comfort that comforting that person because the person knows that things aren't going to get better whatever the situation is like if he's let's say has cancer dying he knows his life is over there's no treatment so what are you gonna say oh you don't worry things will get better yeah you're right things will get better when i'm fucking dead when this shit kills me 
But in the meantime, I got to fucking suffer in pain with this stupid disease. With this stupid, horrible friggin' disease that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. So in a way, they are kind of right that things can get better. Yeah, when, when this fucking thing kills me already. Can't just do it already. It's got to make me suffer. It's got to make me have pain. It's got to make me feel like shit every day. It's got to literally rot, rot the inside of me out. Nothing could ever just go smoothly in life. Everything's got to be a battle. Everything's got to be a hassle. Dying's easy. Like, once you're dead, it's easy. It's getting to it. That's the hard part. And it's the suffering part. Because you can't just go one, two, three. You got to suffer in pain. You got to literally bleed on your knees just to die. I mean, it's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. That's why I really, I, mean, I don't wish that type of disease or any disease on my worst enemy. I just that's not who I am. Now I don't know. I'm not saying I believe in karma or don't believe in karma. Who truly knows? I, sh I should actually make a video about that in the future. That'll be probably some time down the line, maybe. But uh, you know, I just how I look at it is I want to be treated respectfully. Like like I want to treat people how I want to be treated. We all want to be treated respectfully. So that so with that being said, how I want to be treated with respect, so I want to treat the other person that same exact way. Because I know I want to be treated with respect, so I should have, you know, I, I want to do the same for that person too. That's the thing. Some people don't care. Oh, whatever. Let's bully him so uh, I'm with the cool kids, but if I if I don't bully this person, they're not going to think I'm cool or whatever, so Nerd Just go along with it alright Because if I If I play along Like I'm your friend And they're cool kids Aren't gonna like me anymore Justin what are you doing Talking to you uh, No 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 I was just uh, Nerd give me your lunch money yeah. <laughs> You get the joke there Whatever I mean. Oh god man Yeah now you can't see me anymore Guys I apologize I mean you can see a little bit of me Well at least you hear my voice And then Before I actually end the video There's some people that say How they're shocked that the suicide rates are increasing, uh, how crime and all that shit's going high, how everything's basically increasing. I'm not shocked in any way form because look at life getting harder. The more unbearable life gets, the more crazy things you're going to be seeing people do. Crimes are, and all that stuff were always a thing, but it's just it's 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 increasing. Things are getting more expensive to the point where people can't afford. So what do they try to do? They try to steal it. That's how it was in the past too, but now with it being double expensive, now that just increases it double with crimes. And that's why everything's turning into a circus here. I mean, I always found life a circus, but now it's becoming like like a, at least a good four or five circuses combined. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a headache, man. Life never could just go smoothly. And then when you do get that, if you even get that smooth feeling, something eventually gets in the way and ends up becoming rough again. You fix one problem in the house, another problem happens. You fix the air conditioner, the boiler might break down. You fix the boiler, now the water heater or whatever. I mean, it, it's just always something's got to go haywire in life. Everything's got to go downhill, everything. You could just never catch a break. Then you wonder why people overwhelmed, stressed out, bitchy, and wonder why some people just literally have meltdowns, go off on other people to the point where some crazy people literally just randomly slash some person for no exact reason at all. But maybe there really is a reason behind it all because the person's just having a complete meltdown, melt, meltdown, whatever. I mean, there really is no reason to do that. But at the same time, it's just people are losing their... That's that right word I'm trying to say. People are just losing their... <sighs> fungulo. I guess you would say people are losing their patience. I guess. I guess you would say. And there's probably another word I was trying to think of that I can't think of right now. But people just losing it. People going crazy. People fucking snapping. Like you won't believe. And then people so like... Confused and questioning of why life is getting to this point because life itself is bad it's getting worse it's making people go crazy i mean it really doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize all that it you know it doesn't even take a person with a brain to realize that 
it's just common friggin sense and guys i do apologize that all you see now is pretty much just a shadow figure of me <laughs> shadow figure of me basically i'm that uh shadow but uh yeah i mean it's just nothing i see surprises me i i, I can connect it all to i can i can connect it all like a like connect the dots it's easily i can connect the dots of why everything's becoming the way it is look at what life's becoming and the worse life gets the more worse you're going to keep hearing these mass shootings these crimes the suicide rate people getting more mental illness plus terminal illness it could lead to too because we're stressed out and being stressing healthy for us that it could cause other problems in the future or just whatever so it's all just a combination of side effects i guess you could say this getting to this point's gonna end up causing this problem you know it's like dominoes where you put blocks and blocks together and then all of a sudden you push one it's gonna hit that one collapse 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 and it's literally what it's like you ever seen where they put a whole bunch of iphones near each other and then they push one that phone pushes that phone that phone that phone all the way all the way all the way all the way, to until wherever the end is well, that's literally like us life keeps getting more expensive that's gonna push more crime rates to get worse it's gonna cause it's gonna yeah it's gonna cause more mass shootings it's gonna cause pretty much everything you can think of suicide everything everything you name it yo I actually look like <laughs> i have my glasses on it looks like you see like two glowing eyes like if i'm some kind of demon or something lucifer <laughs> But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night there, I should say. Yeah, because it isn't be pretty much nighttime now. But, uh, yeah, I hope I made some valid points in this video. I pretty much hope I make valid points in all my videos, you know. I truly appreciate you all for watching. Love you all. And, yeah, till next time, guys. Peace out, man. Stay safe in this shithole, guys. Truly, man. Horrible shithole we live in. <laughs>